Now it's time for a Tri-State Office Furniture Tweet of the Day, and this is a classy one from Troy Palomalu. And he says, can you please tell them that all I did was follow you? And he puts up this thing that says, put me in, Coach. And Dick LeBeau says, I'd be honored. And I just texted with Coach LeBeau, and he says it's an honor indeed for he to present Troy Palomalu into the yeah. Hall of Fame. Uh, really a great tweet. I think good use of social media there, Andrew. Yeah. Do you see me make good use of social media, Bob? Oh, I yeah. sent out a picture of me with a dog tonight. <laughs> I didn't. I normally see the old fashions. Real quick, I want to ask you about the um, <laughs> the NBA and the play-in uh, thing. Uh, I kind of yep. like it. I know it's I for this it. year. I do. And tonight, T.J. McConnell, 17 points. He had five rebounds. He had four steals. He led the NBA in steals. And their team, the Pacers, blow out Charlotte. Uh, and Charlotte fell apart at the end. I was not surprised by that. But do you like this situation here with these four games? I do, because it creates a few days where the NBA otherwise would have, you know, these long, drawn-out seven-game series between teams. It's not like the NHL. You know, seven, eight seeds don't usually win. However, you know, the Lakers are the monkey wrench, Bob, because they were so banged up this year. They're going to be a seven or eight seed and at the same time probably be the favorite to come out of the Western Conference. Yeah. Very bizarre. How about Steph Curry with a chance to shoot the lights out of the Lakers, at least for one night? That's going to do it, Pony. Thanks as always. We appreciate it. And we thank you, you for watching us tonight. We got big news coming up. John Delano is here. That means there's big news on KDK at 11. Good night.